all the information is going to be <sighs> housefly ranging from a food truck to election <laughs> cut housefly please fly away and cut hello adventure lovers and welcome to a brand new episode of a walk through the conversion this is your host vidushi if you're new here, Motorman Adventures is a 25 plus year old company that rents and builds all things home on wheels and more. Ranging from a club on wheels to election campaign vehicle to food truck and of course caravans, RVs, more homes. You name it and we can build it. Today's episode features caravan conversion of a 4020 wheelbase special edition OM61 series engine Tempo Traveler. The name is Rambler 2022, a caravan conversion with all the necessary amenities and more to make a Rambler's dream of traveling to the isolated location whilst being in the comfort of home on wheels but not within the four walls come true. So without further ado, let's walk through this conversion. I am back with my glasses because the sun now to the exterior which has been painted in a matte finish gun metal grey with black highlights which gives it a unique look. Now you know the drill we are going to walk clockwise from the front to the co-driver side. First off we have the front fascia which has been customized in house which is why it looks different if you compare it with a normal tempo traveller. We have projector lights on both the sides. Now moving to the cabin. We haven't changed much in the cabin. There is a security camera, music system, AC unit, lights, and underneath the sofas, we have two 130 AH batteries. You can also upgrade to 180 AH batteries or better go for lithium ion phosphate batteries. Now moving to the driver side. We have security cameras on all fours. All the windows of the caravan has been customized to a bigger size and have been concealed to give Rambler a cohesive look. Now this right here is our outdoor shower area. This can be utilized by the staff members on board or even by you if you want to wash up the dirt before entering your home on wheels. Speaking of the shower, this right here is our 250 litre freshwater tanks inlet and moving to the rear. Here we have our LPG geyser which provides cold and hot water supply in the outdoor shower, the kitchen as well as the bathroom area. Behind this indent is your technical setup for the bathroom. If any malfunction happens in the bathroom, this is where you're going to rectify the issue at. This right here is the storage space for your EU30IS silent petrol gen set. There is a small door that gives you access to turn on or off the gen set from inside the caravan. If you do not want to place the gen set, you can also utilize this space as a storage for your luggage or hard suitcases. Now moving to the co-driver side, which is where we started our trip from. Tugged in seamlessly is our expandable kitchen. Now this is the first time that we have given this kind of expandable kitchen. Expanding the second deck, we have another hidden element, which is your flip rim, where we are going to place our FRP sink, we have a two top burner, we have additional pantry or storage space for your groceries, utensils, etc. This right here is the pipe and these get connected back there to provide you cold as well as hot water supply. 
Now, if you are cooking, you would also require an LPG. And this right here is the space where you can store two LPG cylinders, two blast proof LPG cylinders. Now, if you're cooking something delicious and it suddenly starts pouring or the sun starts shining bright, that is when your awning is going to come in action. Your three or four grade stainless steel, which we have used on the kitchen, as well as the size of awning and the steps have all been powder coated in matte black finish. Moving to the inside of the caravan, facing the entryway, we are going to move to my left hand side first. This here is a compact wardrobe storage space. Underneath this, we have the same door that we saw from the exterior of the caravan. Adjacent to the wardrobe is our bathroom area. Now, if you've been on our channel before, you already know that building bathrooms on wheels is in fact our USP. As usual, the floor, the walls, as well as the ceiling has been built using the reinforced fiber polymer. The commode uses pneumatic activating wall waste technology, which reduces the water consumption to up to 30 liters per flush. Unlike the ceramic toilets, which you have seen in most of the caravans in the market. And if you're interested in getting this exact bathroom or a similar fixture in your existing vehicle, you can check the links mentioned in the description box below. As for this caravan, here we have our emergency exit. There's a vanity mirror with LED lights running through. And you'll notice that most of the fixtures, which is your jet spray, the lid of the camo top, as well as some other fixtures such as the tap, the toothpaste holder, soap holder, tissue paper, and even the rim of the bathroom door, as well as the door handle, has been painted in a matte black finish, keeping the masculine theme of this caravan going. Moving from top to bottom, we have a microwave and open shelving, the bar top as well as counter space. We have a 90 liter fridge, which again has been painted in a matte bag finish. This here is our wardrobe for additional storage. On the left hand side, we have a manual drop down bed which provides you seating of up to three people plus the three on the front two here and two more in the cabin area making a seating accommodation of up to nine people and a sleeping accommodation of five plus one now moving to the lounge area looking at the lounge space you must be wondering how is this space going to have a sleeping accommodation of five plus one well, we saved the best features for the last and if you have walked through our previous conversion Shiloh, you must have already seen this feature in action. Now moving to the actual lounge area, this here is our full size sofa that converts into a bed for up to two people, opposite of which we have two recliners. Unlike the ones that you find in the market which are readily available and placed in the vehicles, these have been customized in-house. These also have a calf rest and these are built on a metal framing. Popping this table with a wooden finish marks the completion of our lounge space. And before we explore the Rambler worthy feature of this caravan, let's quickly touch base on the standard amenities. Here we have a smart TV, smart music system, free flow AC unit. We have three kinds of light, the LED lights, as well as the normal lights and the mood lights that can change color as per the mood that you want to set. All of these are battery operated. Apart from that, we also have a one ton static AC and all the walls, the sides have been customized with fiber reinforced panel. These also have certain indents wherein you can put your belongings or certain small elements that you do not want to lose. Mm -hmm. 
we have used wooden finish beige and combination of matte black all together maintaining the neutral earthy minimal but also masculine theme of ramler 2022 now to the final space of ramler 2022 up top what looks like a combination of fox leather and mica is actually a roof drop bed This motorized rooftop bed has a sleeping space of up to two adults. You can also adjust the height of this bed. I am now going to climb on the top to give you a gist of the space that we have in here. As you can see, we can easily sleep up to two individuals up here. But if you are a nature lover, a true rambler, who is caravanning in the jungle, being tucked inside the four walls is not something you would anticipate yourself doing, which is why we have a pop top roof. The roof is raised through two Warner linear actuators that function on a 12 volt DC supply. We have metal scissors supporting the pop top on each of the sides. Now these aren't your normal plastic gear actuators. These are super powerful with 12,000 Newton meter of torque. This is the first time that we have created this kind of a fixture on a Tempo Traveler. It was tricky to maintain the overall weight criteria, but we have seen a lot of you guys' comments stating that you want some kind of inside outside blend which is why we have created this. As for the technical gurus who are watching this video, our team has already taken the air drag into consideration and created this FRP top, keeping the same in mind. So you do not need to worry about that. Bringing the roof drop bed back to the roof, you have a tall loud space as well as a 360 view of the jungle from the comfort and safety of your rooftop. You can sleep as is or add a mosquito net, pull out a canvas or a blackout blind as well. If you have seen our previous conversion of a budget-friendly caravan, you must have noticed that we had mentioned how it is possible to create the same kind of pop-top that's there on Vagabond, which is India's first slide-in pop-top camper on a Tempo Traveler. And here you have it. If you are interested in renting, building or buying the existing caravan or a similar one, then all the links are going to be mentioned either in the description box or somewhere on the screen and that concludes this episode of a walk through the conversion. As always, stay connected to our socials to keep up to date and give this video a thumbs up for we will be posting many more fun conversion and travel videos in the home away home on wheels and I am not just saying this for the purpose of saying it, we really have a lot in the Motorhome Adventures creativity box so stay subscribed and on that note, thank you so much for coming by Motorhome Adventures, signing off.